Alright everybody, here we are, getting some coffee, it's about 4am, this is what hustlers do. Hey there, good morning everybody on Instagram, if you would, go to my YouTube channel, Hustle Nation, subscribe, watch some of the videos. If you are having a financial issue as far as having to do with money, more than likely, it's not a case because you don't have too much money, it's a behavior problem, think about it's it. It's totally off the chain, absolutely crazy, I have done something that goes against being in the dump trailer hustle. I have rented a dumpster. Please forgive me, Father, I have sinned. It's just off the chain right now. I don't know what to say. Here, John's trailer, we're gonna go over it. I'm gonna do a review on it. Stay tuned. We're gonna be doing a review on this big text. It's a 14 foot, it's an LP. You can see right, uh, right there and that means low profile that has to do with the sides of the trailer and everything but let me go over the whole thing let you take a look at it there you have it folks we're gonna start with the coupler i really like how they do that locking mechanism on it that's a nice setup right there you see that you can adjust it for different heights and everything like that why you always run them on the lowest is, is because once they get fully loaded, they're going to go down more. And so if you run it up high, it's even going to be down further on the ground. And that's not a good place to be at or anything of that nature. we got a good strong lead on the breakaway. You always want to have one of those. you got the grade 8 chains right there. Good quality. Really nice reflector tape that we got running along here. That jack mechanism right there is one of the nicer ones. When you pull it out, it comes straight out. It's not hung up from tape or um, the paint drying and not being cured properly or anything like that. That's a really nice setup. Um, you can kind of see how they did. They welded those dogs there for the safety chains to be attached to. This right here is kind of your undercarriage. I want to bring your attention to something that's pretty freaking cool. Hopefully you can see it, but the way they bend that I-beam is extremely difficult. You've got to have a special die to do that to make it to where it does not um, wrinkle the top flange on it, and so it'll stay like that. you got these braces here for the construction on your side walls, so that's nice and strong. you got the right size rims for the hubs biggest thing you need to look for is how it fits right in there because that'll tell you if it's the right tire on the hub and uh, you know some of them you're not going to see that um, big techs good quality trailer this trailer belongs to John and he did a really nice job with these galvanized uh, carriage bolts that he put in there did a nice job on doing the stake bed making the walls higher on it and everything I think this should come out to about a 17 cubic yard trailer total. Um, it's 14 by 4 by 7, I believe. So we'll have to see. Definitely a really nice trailer here. We're going to go over some other features, walk around it. And, uh, you know, this is just one of them that you can choose from out there. You're going to pay a little bit more for this one right here. You know, the thing is, they all dump. However, you know, if it'll dump in five years or not, that's going to be your different story. And that's a little bit where that extra money when you buy a quality piece of equipment comes in is, is how long is it going to last you? How long will it continue to make you money before it breaks? I know some people are on a budget, you know, and uh, I appreciate a good deal as well as anybody else. But most of the time, you do get what you pay for. That's for sure. Before we go anywhere, I want to take a look at this tarp kit. That's really nice. It's got nice heavy grommets on it and everything. The end is doubled up and whatnot. Um, it's got this nice locking mechanism on it. When you take it out, you're gonna go up, you're gonna go over and all the way to the back. I'll show you the dogs that it attaches to. But then this thing will lock in place right there. It goes all the way across. It's got its nice holder that's wrapped up. And then you got protection right here from underneath, you know, so. And uh, again, John did a really nice job on putting these sides on and everything. And uh, so you can definitely tell the pride of ownership in it that he has for it. 
Let's walk around. You got these stabilizer jacks right here, okay? You can drop those down, and the advantage of those is, is that when you pull your ramps out from in there, bring them back here, and then you take a piece of equipment and drive up in there, it's not gonna jackknife up on you. You can actually load a piece of equipment without it being uh, hooked up to the truck. I never advise that, but it's possible, okay? Now on this trailer right here, we've got a three-way gate, okay? You mash that handle down, the bottom comes, that's what we call the spreader gate, okay? It's also a dump gate. And then you can take it and actually do what we call the barn door, open it up from the middle and get it to come. And then you can actually get it to pivot and go down. And so, you know, you got three different styles of uh, way to disperse materials that you can do. Now, John hasn't used this a whole lot, but I will say this, those D-rings up in the corner, I like how those are mounted and screwed into the sidewalls instead of the bed. Those rings will catch on things. Things, believe it or not, it's kind of like Murphy's Law, you know, those rings will actually let things get hooked to them. And so then you have to lower it, unhook it, clear the obstruction, and then raise it back up and everything. Now these D rings right here, these are down and everything, but this is close to you. So this has got some thick paint on it. I don't know if these are powder coated or not, but they do have some really great finish on them. We got a locking mechanism right here for the door and uh, to uh, actually we'll do this open this up oh, I did it wrong oh, operator error now we're rolling again now this is the really cool thing you got this ring right here and it attaches that's what holds your gate open so that when you raise the trailer up this doesn't flop down on the ground if you ever have one come unhooked and you drive away it's all bent up afterwards trust me i know this okay and see john did a really nice job on this side of the trailer as well putting that side on there this is an excellent way now what ends up happening is that steel bar on that tarp comes up and over and then what you do is you hook it underneath that hook there's one over there as well and then tighten it up and that secures your load totally makes it nice real nice and easy you got the same thing you got those nice trailer tires with the rims that are correct for it you got some extra hooks on here for if you want to you know put some extra tie downs on coming off of your tarp you got a spare tire carrier right here those are extremely handy you got another hook right here really nice bearing with a uh, grease fitting on it for your uh, tarp and uh you know that's a that's a quality piece of equipment right there and uh we will uh we'll discuss a little bit more of it here in just a second Buddy, this is john right here tell us about your trailer right here john all right let's see i got a uh 2021 big tex i bought it in december let's see december 15th all right and uh it's been pretty busy right it is now mid-february right and uh it's been getting pretty good use out of it um do you have any idea roughly how much you've made so far with it no i do not and i don't want to throw numbers out that i don't quite have gotcha yes sir so. okay all right do me a favor if you would raise it up i want to see the scissor lift real quick on it all right all right folks i want you to pay particular close attention to this because my first trailer was a big text. It's a 2015 model, okay? But that scissor lift on mine is on the back, okay? And from that point forward, okay, or from that point towards the back is where mine is, all right? The hardest this trailer will work is when it is resting on that beam right there and it takes off the first time. You'll see a lot of guys will put like a four by four poster and something underneath it because the way this design works is it's almost pushing straight out when it's laying down. 
but as soon as it gets a little upward momentum, then it starts going quicker. Well, these new big texts have the scissor lift on the front section of the trailer and everything. But I mean, I just want y'all to look. That's a really quality product right there and everything. This I-beam frame and everything like that, especially the way that they made that bend, it's something else. I mean, it, uh, you know, and that's a really nice set of hydraulics in there and everything like that. So definitely a quality machine and it's gonna last him a long time. So there time. you have it. John's got his trailer back. John made a little bit of money renting his trailer out to the competition, and we're really not com competitors, so to speak. We are, but actually we're, we act more as a resource for each other because there's just so much work out there right now that, uh, you know what I mean? It's just such a childish thing to, uh, you know, want to get in that nitpicky type of stuff and everything like that. It just doesn't make sense, and, uh, you know, there's enough for everybody out here, and, uh, if it uh, gets to a point where there's not, then uh, oh, Rob will be moving on, and uh, I'll let other people fight over it and everything like that. But uh, it's just something that I can't get into and everything. And, you know, I uh, I like it when you have people that you can rely on. Starting to get late. I got to drop a trailer, then go pick up another one, drop it on location. We got five rolling tomorrow. That's right. And uh, so... Just got to try to make it happen and keep it all together. The struggle is real. I want y'all to look at that right behind my trailer and tell me what it is that you see. That's pretty cool. 